guys, it's Matt again from Make a Matt. Today I'm going to be showing you my differential for a car. Let's go check it out here on Make a Matt. So let's get started. But wait, before we get started, I need to thank some people. I need to thank my 13 subscribers. You heard me say it, 13. I know, I never would have believed it that I could get so many subscribers in like a while. 13, wow. So, I created a next, the next clip for you guys. Because if it weren't for you guys, none of this would be possible. Wow, money really does grow on trees. Go. My Canadian, my American, my Asian. I'm an international man. And now for the serious stuff. Before I show you guys my 3D printed differential, I want to explain to you why you need to differential on a car or vehicle. And here's my explanation. Let's say we're completing this turn here. We have our two front wheels here and here. Now, to complete this turn, this wheel over here must travel that distance there, and this wheel over here must travel this distance here. So, when this wheel over here is traveling this distance over here, it's doing a lot more rotations than this wheel over here would have to do to complete that. But, because they're on a solid axle, when this wheel is doing those rotations, this wheel is also doing the same number of rotations, which is fewer than the rotations it will need to complete this turn over there which will mean that this wheel over here will be skidding across the ground, giving you loss of steering of the vehicle. And that's my explanation for why we use differentials in cars and vehicles. This is how a differential works. We have our two wheels, here and here, each on their own separate axle, right there and right there. We have three gears here, here, and here. But for simplicity reasons, I only have turned them into two spoke gears instead of a multi-spoke gear because this is connects after all. So, let's say we're going on a nice smooth road and the engine is imparting all of its rotary motion to turn in this thing here. And as you can see, it's turning these wheels nicely. But when we get to a turn, one wheel is going to have more friction than the other one. So we slow down this one for the example. And as you can see, it allows this one to stop or slow down and imparts all that rotary motion to this one over here, making this one go about twice the speed. And now if I had many spokes to these gears, it would just keep going forever and ever. See, slow down this one, that one speeds up. And that's how a differential works. And finally, the differential itself. Slow down one wheel here, and the other one speeds up. Slow down this wheel over here, and get a hold of it, and the other wheel speeds up just like when you're doing a turn. Guys, I want to thank you all so much for watching and wasting five minutes of your life that you'll never be able to get back. Please consider subscribing and check out my other videos. Adios.